The Book of Hosea, Chapter 9 Rejoice not, O Israel, for joy as other people, for thou hast gone a-whoring from thy God. Thou hast loved a reward upon every corn floor. The floor and the winepress shall not be them, and the new wine shall fail in her. They shall not dwell in the Lord's land, but Ephraim shall return to Egypt, and they shall eat unclean things in Assyria. They shall not offer wine offerings to the Lord, neither shall they be pleasing unto him. Their sacrifices shall be unto them as the bread of mourners. All that eat thereof shall be polluted, for all their bread for their soul shall not come into the house of the Lord. What will ye do in the solemn day and in the day of the feast of the Lord? For lo, they are gonna, they are gone because of destruction. Egypt shall gather them up. Memphis shall bury them. The pleasant places for their silver, nettles shall possess them. Thorns shall be their tabernacles. The days of visitation are come. The days of recompense are come. Israel shall know it. The prophet is a fool. The spiritual man is mad for the multitude of thine iniquity and the great hatred. The watchman of Ephraim was with my God, but the pro but the prophet is a snare of a fowler in all his ways and hated in the house of his God. They have deeply corrupted themselves as in the days of Gibeah. Therefore, he will remember their iniquity. He will visit their sins. I found Israel like grapes in the wilderness. I saw your fathers as the first stripe in the fig tree at her first time, but they went to Baal Peor and separated themselves unto that shame, and their abominations were according as they loved. As for Ephraim, their glory shall fly like a bird from the birth and from the womb and from the conception. Though they bring up their children, yet will I bereave them, that there shall be not a man left. Yes, woe also to them when I depart from them. Ephraim, as I saw Tyrus, is planted in a pleasant place, but Ephraim shall bring forth its children to the murderer. Give them, O Lord, what wilt thou give? Give them a miscarrying womb and dry breasts. All their wickedness is in Gilgal, for there I hated them. For the wickedness of their doings, I will drive them out of my house. I will love them no more. All their princes are revolters. Ephraim is smitten. Their root is dried up. They shall bear no fruit. Yes, though they bring forth, yet will I slay even the beloved fruit of their womb. My God will cast them away, because they did not hearken unto him, and they shall be wanderers among the nations. <clears throat> Chapter 10 Israel is an empty vine. He brings forth fruit unto himself. According to the multitude of his fruit, he has increased the altars. According to the goodness of his land, they have made goodly images. Their heart is divided. Now shall they be found faulty. He shall break down their altars. He shall spoil their images. For now they shall say, We have no king, because we have feared not the Lord. What then should a king do to us? They have spoken words, swearing falsely and making a covenant. Thus judgment springs up as hemlock in the furrows of the field. The inhabitants of Samaria shall fear because of the calves of beth Aven. For the people thereof shall mourn over it, and the priests thereof that rejoiced on it. For the glory thereof, because it is departed from it. It shall be also carried unto Assyria for a present king Jerob. Ephraim shall receive shame, and Israel shall be ashamed of his own counsel. As for Samaria, her king is cut off as the foam upon the water. The high places also of Evan, the sin of Israel, shall be destroyed. The thorn and this and the thistle shall come up on their altars, and they shall say to the mountains, Cover us, and to the hills, Fall on us. O Israel, thou hast sinned from the days of Gibeah. There they stood in battle. Gibeah against the children of iniquity did not overtake them. It is my desire that I should chastise them, and the people shall be gathered against them, when they shall bind themselves in their two furrows. And Ephraim is as a heifer that is taught, and love to tread out the corn. But I passed over upon their fair neck. I will make Ephraim to ride. Judah shall plow, and Jacob shall break his clods. Sell yourself in righteousness. Reap in mercy. Break up your fallow ground, for it is time to seek the Lord, till he come and rain righteousness upon you. 
Ye have plowed wickedness, ye have reaped iniquity. Ye have eaten the fruit of lies, because thou did trust in the way, in the multitude of the mighty men. Therefore thou shalt a tumult arise among the people, and all the fortress shall be spoiled. As Shalom spoiled Beth Arabal in the day of battle, the mother was dashed to pieces upon her children. So shall Bethel do unto you, because of your great wickedness. In a morning shall the king of Israel utterly be cut off. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.